Hi, welcome to my video today. There's a few points here just before I get started. There will be a list of products that I use for this project on my blog, which you can find here. You will be able to shop via the blog as well. The main address for my website is papercraftlife.com but we'll get started I'll move this out of the way for now and the card that I'd like to show you today is one that I did in one of my workshops recently and it's this one and this card uses the sailing home stamp set and the coordinating smooth sailing dies they're available as a bundle at the moment so that's 10 percent off if you buy them both and you can see i've used a sahara sand card base with some background stamping that's tone on tone so that's sahara sand ink as well We've got a couple of little circles, which I've used the two and a half inch circle punch for. We've got the lighthouse, the sentiment with the little banner behind and one of the sailing home, uh, sail away, sorry, trinkets. I'll pop that to one side and we'll make a start. We've got the card base here and I'm actually going to do that as a temp fold. So I'll just score that. The first thing to do is do the background stamping. And for that, I've used mainly the compass in the Sahara sand ink. So tapping on and just a few compasses placed at different points around the card. Don't forget you're going to cover up quite a lot of the card base. So we don't need to worry too much about filling in this section here because that's going to be covered up with our main elements. The other thing I've put on the background, just give that a bit of a clean, are the little birds and that's quite a small stamp so I'm going to take this stamp to the ink rather than the other way around and I've just got the birds kind of flying off into the distance there Then taking a piece of soft suede cardstock and the two and a quarter inch circle punch. Punch out one circle from there and one from the DSP from this suite. And we can adhere those just a little bit of the multi-purpose adhesive I always say it but a little does go a long way with that just line that up so that your stripes are vertical the same with the soft suede circle 
I'm just going to pop that a little bit lower down. The lighthouse I've already stamped and die cut just to save a little bit of time. But that's stamped in Knight of Navy. And we're going to place that in the bottom right hand corner. Now with the sentiment piece and the banner, so you can see I've stamped the sentiment in Knight of Navy and used one of the dies in the set. Um, which is a really nice die to cut out your sentiments. And then what I've done is I've cut the banner piece from Balmy Blue cardstock. And I'm actually just going to snip that in half. And adhere that to either side of the sentiment piece. So you end up with the banner sticking out from either, <coughs> excuse me, sticking out from either side, making it look like the banner is longer than it really is. Again, just trying to get those square. And I've used some dimensionals to stick that in place. I don't tend to go overboard with the dimensionals. Lining that up. And then the final touch is the Sail Away Trinket. You actually get anchors and the ship's wheels. I'll just open this and tip them out to show you. So there's a selection of anchors and the ship's wheels. For this card, I'm going to use the ship's wheel and I'm going to adhere that using one of the mini glue dots. And I want to place the wheel just to the side of the sentiment, making sure that I can still see the sentiment, but also making sure that I can still see some of the banner sticking out from the side. So I'll give that a little press down. There we are. Ship's wheel on top. Pressing that into place. And there we have the card. The only thing that I'm going to do now is just to decorate the envelope. Again, using the Sahara sand. Uh, for this one, I'm going to keep it quite simple. And do a compass to the corner of the envelope. And also on to the envelope flap. And then whoever you're sending it to, will know it's something a little more exciting than a bill when they receive it. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. And as I said, if you'd like to have a go yourself, you can buy any of the products shown here today or any other Stamping Up products 
via my website which is papercraftlife.com and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!